What's going on guys? In this video we're going to go over if name equals main. Now if you guys have been programming for a bit in Python, you guys have probably seen this everywhere, whether it be books, GitHub, or even other tutorials. So I'm going to break down exactly what this statement does and why this statement is so useful. Alright, so the first thing we'll go over is this name variable. This is a special variable in Python because it has two underscores in the back and in the front of the variable. And these type of variables are called dunder methods or dunder attributes. So that's D-U-N-D-E-R. And there's various different dunder methods and dunder attributes in Python. And in this one, we'll focus on name. Now, the important thing regarding name is that each Python script has an attribute or a name associated with it. So this dunder name is attached to each Python script you run. So in this case, we have this Python script, which is called main name one, also has a name attribute or a dunder name attribute attached to it. However, it's not main name one. So it's not the name of the script that's the name variable. And when I run this, you'll see what the exact name is according to the name variable. All right. So with that said, I'm going to run this. And before I run it, actually, let's look at the print statement. I am main name one. And then we're going to print the dunder name attribute or the value of the dunder name attribute. All right. So here's the print statement. I am main name one and main. So this is the name according to the dunder attribute, according to the special Python name variable. Now there's some terminology I want you guys to get acquainted with. A script can be ran as either a script or a module. So this script was actually ran as a script. If I actually import it from another script, then it's ran as a module and it's considered a module. So I want you guys to just be very familiar with this terminology. A script and a module. So if I run a standalone Python piece of code, it's called a script. If I happen to import it into another script, then it's called a module. So when I run a Python script, the name is always main. And that's an important concept that I want you guys to be very familiar with. This name is always main when it's ran as a Python script. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce you to another Python script which is going to import this script. So I've now opened up main name 2 which is other script. So the other script is called main name 2 and it's to the right of main name 1. So if we look at the contents of main name 2 you'll see that I'm importing main name one. And then I'm going to be printing I am main name two name. All right, so let's look at the first statement, which is importing main name one. When you import another script or a module in Python, you actually run all of its code. So in this case, we have a print statement saying I am main name one name. So what's going to happen is when we import it in main name two, we're actually going to be printing out that statement, I am main name one, name. And then underneath that statement, we're going to be printing out the statement from our main script, which is print I am main name two, name. So we'll have two print statements. Now what you're going to see is something interesting. Main name one, when it was printed as a script, had the name, the dunder name, as main. But when it's imported, it's going to have a different name. And this is something you guys need to pay close attention to. So I'm going to run script number two. So you'll see I am main name one is now called main name one according to name. And I am main name two is of course called main because we're running it as a script. So whenever you run a Python script as a script, the name variable is always main. But when it's imported, it's actually the name of the file. So the name of main name one file name is main name one so that's why when it's being imported as a module the name gets converted to main name one 
So each Python script has this sort of duality. They can be ran as a standalone script and they can be ran as a Python module. And sometimes you want to be able to run a certain Python script as a script, but also be able to import it as a module. And that is where if name equals main comes into play. So if this if name equals main part only runs when this Python script is ran as a script. So I've uncommented that statement and now you'll see that there's two statements. And once again, if name equals main is just saying if the name is main, if it's being ran as a script, I want you to run this. But if it's being imported, I don't want you to run this. So if name equals main is basically allowing this Python script to have a duality. It can be ran as a script or it could run as a module or it could be imported as a module. And when you want to sort of separate the script portion from the module portion, you use if name equals main. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to first run this as a script. And you'll see when it's ran as a script, it's actually going to print the statement under if name equals main. So I'm going to run this as a script. So if I run this as a script, you can see I am main name one and the name is main. I could only be printed when I have ran as a script and not imported as a module. So basically, when we run this as a script, we print out everything, including the code under if name equals main. But you'll notice that if I import it, that portion under if name equals main will not get executed. So I'm going to now run main name two, which is importing main name one. And you'll notice that the code under if name equals main will not be executed. And as you can see, I am main name one, main name one, and I am main name two, main. The portion under if name equals main was not executed because that's only executed when you run this script as a script and not as a module. So once again, hopefully that was clear. This if name equals main allows you to give your Python script a dual functionality. It allows the script to run as a module and as well as script. And if name equals main just allows you to have script only code. So if you have certain code you only want to run when this Python script is running as a script, you can put everything under if name equals main. And it will only run when Python is ran as a script. So hopefully that clears up any confusion regarding what if name equals main is. Alright, I will see you guys in the next video.